Hey, what is up guys? My name is Justin. Thank you so much for coming to this video. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about five tips for owners of rental vehicles. Whether you rent it out on Turo, hire a car, get around, whatever it is, I just wanna let you guys know some tips that I have that I use on my vehicles that I rent out. So let's get right into the first tip. So I think communication is really key starting off on the right foot and letting your renters know that they can reach you uh, on your cell or through the platform. They can reach you uh, these hours. Like if there's anything that they need, you're available. If they have any issues, you're available. Let them know like and start your rental off right just by communicating. It's really important. If there's anything that happens that's wrong with your vehicle, then they can be there to help uh, they can be there to let you know if there's anything wrong. If they're getting an accident, the first thing you want them to do is let you know. Um, you know, so if you start off on the right foot and just communicate well with the renter, then it'll set the tone for the rest of the rental. You know, you never know. Um, I rented a car out to someone that I thought I was going to be renting them out to two days, but now it's turning into a month and a half. So um, really that communication is really important. Tip number two is maintenance. I like to keep my vehicles on like a maintenance track or a maintenance schedule. I have a little device in my cars, it's called Fixed. Uh, it just plugs in and it lets me know if there's anything wrong, if there's any sensors that have gone off, the check engine light, oil change. I'll leave a link in the description. It's really cool. Um, it's like $50 and then it's free to use every month. There is an upgraded subscription plan. Um, but it lets me know if there's anything wrong with the car or if anything needs to be changed. And you you know these cars, especially with you renting them out on like hire car and get around, they're going to be driving for like Uber and Lyft. So you're gonna be putting a lot of miles on your car. And so if you want longevity out of your vehicle, you wanna keep it well maintained. And it's really important if you keep oil changes regularly, changing your air filters, changing your fluids, all these types of things are extremely important. And so I keep my vehicles on a maintenance schedule. You know, I really make sure that I um, keep those up to date. You know, my dry, sometimes my renters have the vehicles for so long that they need an oil change so um, that comes back to communication if communicating with them like hey it's time for an oil change let's you know let's meet somewhere we can you can drop the car off and I'll bring it back to you or whatever you know something like that uh, maintenance is really important that's a tip that I would say just really keep on top of your maintenance keep good record and track of it tip number three so the next tip I have for you guys is keep your vehicle well maintained and clean Keeping it clean is so important when you're renting out your vehicles to people who drive for Uber and Lyft. You know, they get tips. They have people that come in the backseat and stains and smells and things like that can hinder them. And so if you provide a really clean, good smelling vehicle to them, they're gonna like it and more likely to rent from you in the future. I have those little trees that you hang from the rear view mirror, the little, uh, little scent things. I, I give those uh, to the riders and uh, or the renters, excuse me. And I give them, you know, a clean vehicle. I vacuum it, I wash it. And those are really important to Uber and Lyft drivers. And so meeting and knowing who your customer is, um, is really important and like understand what they need. And so I always clean my vehicles, I always wash them. I would say like, if you're really trying to take your game up to the next level, you're really trying to provide the best customer service and set yourself out uh, from everyone else is really to keep your vehicles really clean. So I would say that is my next tip. My next tip is to keep track of your expenses. I keep track on an Excel spreadsheet of every time I do an oil change, every time I do a car wash, every time I do some maintenance, miles on the car, all those things add up at the end of the year when it's time for taxes. And if you guys wanna see a video about uh, taxes and how I do my taxes for hire car, let me know in the uh, comments below. Really keeping good track of expenses of what you spend and what you make and and show like, is it profitable is really important because it's easy to just rent your vehicle out and have money come in and not really keep good track of it. But really, if you keep good track of what's going in and what's coming out, you're able to make better business decisions. And so it's really important as a business owner that you keep track of, you know, your profitability and your expenses and all these things. So I would say just keep really good documentation um, keep your receipts and stuff like that and, and, and show that and, and keep track of your, your business. On to my last tip. Hey, so for my last tip and my most important one out of all of these, I would say is to know your insurance. 
know that you're protected. I would say go into the terms of service of hire car or Turo and understand your insurance policies. Know what's protected, know what's not. Know your deductibles. Keep good documentation of um, pictures of the vehicle when you drop it off because if you have a claim and you have all these things, it's better supported. And I would say like this process when my car got stolen, I'm going through the claim process to get the repairs because it wasn't an accident. You know, I'm gonna make an update video about how Hire Car did and handled that. But it's really important that I took good pictures before and I'm so glad that I did. I kept all the communications with the driver, um, whether it's on the platform or through text, you know, I kept all those things. Um, and it's really important to know your protection and know uh, what your what's covered. I would say, like if you're not feeling comfortable with the renter um, and they already have the vehicle, just make sure you get really good documentation. But even if you're not comfortable with um, somebody that you're going to drop the vehicle off, just know that you don't have to rent out to them. I've had people come to come and pick up my vehicle and say, you know what? I'm actually not comfortable with this rental. I'm sorry, but we're not going to be able to do this. And Hire Car will support you in that because I've had that same experience that, you know what? They might not be who they say they are. It just might be a really shady situation. Whatever it is, if you just trust your gut, if you don't feel like this asset that you're loaning out and renting out to somebody is going to come back, then don't do it. You know, so I would say like, really know your protection, really know your insurance, like get down in those fine details and know them. So when, even when like if hire car or one of these platforms say like, oh no, that's not covered. Like I was able to take a screenshot of their terms of service and say, no, actually this is what is said. Um, and, and so those things are really important. I would know your facts, know what's covered and really keep good documentation of driver records and just know that you don't always have to rent out the vehicle. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, press the like button below. Press subscribe if you like more stuff like this. Well, all of November, I'm gonna be posting videos about hire car twice a week. So if you wanna see those types of videos, press subscribe, press the notification bell, and don't miss the next upload. See you guys in the next one.